Learning science is fun. Let's learn science with Daisy and Vaughn TV. In this video, we are going to learn the parts of the reproductive system and their functions. For part 1, we are going to learn about the male reproductive system. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel Daisy and Vaughn TV for more videos weekly. And don't forget to like, share and comment your suggestions below our objective for this lesson is to describe the parts of the reproductive system and their functions are you ready to have some fun in learning science let's go and explore the parts of the reproductive system and their functions male and female human beings have observable differences in their body structures there are also differences in terms of body structures between a young and an adult person of the same sex. When you were younger, you may have noticed that your body looks different from your father and mother. Now that you are an adult, you start to notice changes in your body. The human reproductive systems have something to do with the differences and changes observed between males and females. The male reproductive system is made up of several organs which include the testes, ducts, accessory glands, and penis. It is specifically responsible for producing sperm cells and hormones. A sperm cell is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Hormones are responsible for the development of adult male characteristics. A male can produce numerous sperm cells. An average man can have approximately 5 million in a single drop of his semen. Out of these millions of sperm cells, only one is needed to fertilize an egg cell. The illustration shows the parts of the male reproductive system. These parts have specific functions and they work together so that the male reproductive system can work. Now, let's start to talk about the parts of the male reproductive system. Starting with the first one, the penis. The penis is the external male reproductive organ with a tip called glands. It is covered with foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. Circumcision is the surgical removal of foreskin from a baby's penis there are several benefits to circumcision, including a lower risk of diseases like urinary tract infections. Older boys and men get circumcised as well. At any age, the circumcised penis usually heals within a week. The next one is the scrotum. The scrotum is a pair of pouch-like socks that contains the testes. It also controls the testes temperature because they must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cells. The testes. The testes are glands that produce the sperm cells and the male sex hormones called testosterone. The next one is the epididymis. The epididymis is a long cold tube that rests on the back side of each testicle. It carries and stores sperm cells that are created in the testes. It's also the job of the epididymis to bring the sperm to maturity. The sperm that emerge from the testis are immature and incapable of fertilization. That's why it is a crucial role of the epididymis to help the sperm to bring to maturity. Now let's have urethra. This tube allows urine to pass outside the body and the brain signals the bladder muscles to tighten which squeezes urine out of the bladder. At the same time, the brain signals the sphincter muscles to relax to let urine exit the bladder through the urethra. Next is the seminal vesicles. The seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the semen production, a sugar-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's mutility. Motility of the sperm refers to the capacity of the sperms to move inside the female reproductive organ. Vas deferens. The vas deferens is a long, muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testis. 
It also connects the testis to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Cowper's gland The Cowper's gland, also called as the bulbourethral gland, is one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for the releasing of fluid that flushes out foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. The last part of the male reproductive system is the prostate gland. The prostate gland is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. That ends our lesson about the male reproductive organs. I hope that you learned a lot from our lesson today. But before we end this video, let's check your learning. Please identify the male reproductive part through its given function. Are you ready? Let's start with the first one. It is the tube that stores sperm cells. Again, it is the tube that stores sperm cells. If your answer is epididymis, your answer is correct. Number 2. It secretes fluid which nourishes the sperm. Again, it secretes fluid which nourishes the sperm. If your answer is prostate gland, you are correct. Number 3. The gland that releases the fluid that flushes out foreign matter and neutralizes acidic urine in the urethra. Again, the gland that releases the fluid that flushes out foreign matter and neutralizes acidic urine in the urethra. If your answer is scalper's gland or bulbourethral gland, you are correct. Number 4. The passageway of urine and semen. Again, the passageway of urine and semen. If your answer is urethra, you are correct. Number 5. A pair of pouch-like socks that protects the testis. Again, a pair of pouch-like socks that protects the testis. If your answer is scrotum, your answer is correct. Number 6. It produces sugar-rich fluid that provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Again, it provides sugar-rich fluid that provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. If your answer is seminal vesicle, your answer is correct. Number 7. The glands that produce sperm cells and the male sex hormone called testosterone. Again, the glands that produce sperm cells and the male sex hormone called testosterone. If your answer is testis, your answer is correct. Number 8. It is the external male organ with a tip called glands. Number 8. It is the external male organ with a tip called glands. If your answer is penis, your answer is correct. Number 9 and the last number, it is the passageway of sperm coming from the testis. Again, it is the passageway of sperm coming from the testis. If your answer is vast difference, your answer is correct. Congratulations for finishing the lesson! That's all for the male reproductive parts. In our next lesson, we will discuss the female reproductive parts and their functions. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos like this. Please leave a like or share this video and comment your suggestions below. See you in the next video!